I'm in an elevator right now. One thing, I, I have a fear of elevators. I really do. So stay on with me until the door opens, okay? I have to go on the eighth floor to top it off. Okay, we're good. Good morning, guys. I got a pretty hectic schedule today, but we're gonna do a toy hunting video. I got several stores I gotta hit in areas that I gotta go to. So we're gonna hit Walmart. I don't know how many targets we're gonna hit. Um, I can tell you some stuff that I'm looking for. I am looking for, uh, of course, like I said, the uh, Comic-Con exclusive Dark Side McFarlane. Have it on pre-order, but if I find it on stores, I'll cancel my pre-order. Um, also, some of the, I mean, some of the new McFarlane figures are already hitting. Like I said, um, um, the, the armored Batman. Um, I know Walmart has the white, not the white knight, the uh, Asriel Batman, the white version, the unmasked red hood. I know they have a new NECA section going on, or not new NECA section, but the new NECA aliens are hitting Walmarts. Still trying to see if I can find those Playmate two-pack TMNT figures. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff, you know, and then we'll see if we see any other surprises that are out. So come along and we'll go, blah. Come along, let's go toy hunting. All right, guys, here we go into Walmart. This one here, is known for um, Frank and Sons flippers. So it's already nine o'clock, so it's later in the day. So if they were here, they already cleared everything out, but you gotta be positive. What's it say? Uh-oh. So it says here now, I mean, I already wear a mask, but it says face coverings are required now. See that sign? All right, first thing first, we're gonna go into the NECA section and the Funko section. I'm trying to see if they have the Halloween stuff out yet, but it doesn't quite look like it. But uh, let's have okay, it. let's see what we have. All right, I don't see any new um, NECA alien figures. I don't even see any new Funko Pops. They still have a lot of the Captain Boomerangs. This is the place where I saw all those Captain Boomerangs. I had no idea that they made Frasier Funko Pops. Um, Q figs. That's Slimer, what is, oh, this is the little, the, I, they made horror figures on these. They made a Slimer one too. This is actually pretty cool. I really, like I kind of want to get these, but I don't know, I'm like iffy on these. I guess this is kind of like a FOMO buy. There's the alien eggs. Look at, oh, we have Flash randomly over here. This one has the uh, arcade still of Mortal Kombat, which I do, I do plan on picking it up, but I say that about every arcade system. Oh, here we go. So they have an end cap now. Pennywise, Gremlins. See, this one has some NECA Ultimate Aliens, but I don't know what else was supposed to be at this end cap, but this is new. I wonder if they're putting anything out right now. Oh geez, they got the LeBron with the missing head on top. Um, okay, here we go. So let's see if we find anything in the toy section. Dude. This Walmart has been pretty empty when it comes to like action figures. I haven't been able to find anything here. I mean, mind you, I don't come here that often, but is that Hulk just moving on his own right now? Let's see. All right, nothing on top. Here's the wrestling stuff. I don't I mean, I, I don't know who this character is, but I gotta admit that is a freaking cool head sculpt. Got a bunch of randomness over here. Okay, this is my, I was gonna say it's my first time seeing these, but I did see these when these first came out. The head changers from uh, Power Rangers. These are pretty cool. I have the original ones. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to get some of these, but I don't know. Not now. Let's see what else we can, what else we can find. Motu. I haven't seen these ones at Target or Walmart. I normally see these at Target. All right, so. The DC section does not have... Okay, they got this, some Spider-Man No Way Home figures. Oh, I th they have a Spider-Man No Way Home mask now, too. I'll bring that down right now so we can take a look at it. Uh, Superman Vendom figure. I think these are really cool because they actually look like action figures. Nothing here at the bottom. This is their Transformer section. I see a Power Ranger mask up there. We've got Q-Figs. Oh man, no Turbo Man either. I'm, I'm assuming this, like I said, I think this is where the Turbo Man would be, but I'm not 100% sure. So here's, what is this? Eye, oh, eyes glow in the dark on here. So this is the No Way Home Spider-Man mask. Ooh, I'm so tempted right now to do a kickflip, but 
I don't trust a lot of these boards. Here's uh, their vehicles. Nope. Oof, man, this Walmart is dry. There is nothing here. I saw some um, vehicles I want to go check out. But I'll do that. I'll do that in a second. With some of their board games. Yeah, there's, jeez, this is like, I, I mean, that's what you get, right? You come toy hunting, don't go with high expectations, right? Uh, this is all board games. All right, let me go back to those, uh, those model kit vehicles. See what they have here. They had this before, and I think the last time they had these vehicles here, they were on clearance. Um, I don't think that is the case this time around. They do have the Batmobile one. See, they priced at $24.97. I'm not going to buy it, only because th these ones you have to paint, and I freaking suck at doing these. But it, they're so cool. So they got a bunch of different ones here. Wacky Races, Grumpy's Vegas. They have uh, Speed Racers Mach 5, which is so dope. Again, they had this before. I think it was last year, maybe the year before. But they were on clearance, I think, for like $6. But that's not the case this time. All right, I'm heading over to Target. All right, Target is right across the street, and that's where we're going. It's such a nice day, but it's already so freaking hot. Um, Game stops here too, but I don't think they open for another couple of hours. This, this might be a long toy hunt video, guys, so just prepare for that. So I was looking online at the Target where I'm going. Supposedly they have two dark sides in stock, but I mean, we all know how that goes. It's probably not gonna be out there. Just like when I was looking for the McFarland Clown, they said they had two in stock and I couldn't find it and they didn't put it out until like, I think four days later or something like that. But we're gonna check this Target. We're gonna see what they got. All right, here we go, guys. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Maybe we can find a dark side. Jeez, it looks like they're putting out stuff right now. Oh no, they have the regular dark side. This isn't the one that we're looking for. I wonder if this is like the same DPC I number as it. Um, this is what they got. So, let's see, let's see. Then uh, there's Kept Falcon. There's the Iron Man. God, they got John Hammond here. FOMO by Jeez. Legends. Not Legends, uh, Modu. Let's check out the wrestling area. John Cena. We got a UFC fighter up there. All right, there's... There's nothing. Let's go look at the, um, that's pretty cool. Let's go look at the NECA section. <clears throat> what is, what are they playing? Whoa, this is empty. They got like a few NECA figures here. That's like a mess. Um, no, man, they don't have anything. I mean, they have this two pack here. That's about it. Oh, they have a couple of them and Gorn. What the heck? I was going to say, what kind of NECA figure is this? Dang it. There's nothing here. All right. Well, let's see what they have in the gaming section because this is where I found that Noob Sabat um, Chase. And sometimes you can find a bloody variant. Nope. So I scanned the dark side. You can see available at five nearby stores. And it says availability pre-order unsellable. So if you check the stores nearby that have it, Chino Hills, Diamond Bar, Anaheim Hills. I mean, I was just there. They don't have them there. They're probably in the back. Oh, I found the new NECA section. So this is the new NECA section that they're having. It's actually in the toy aisle. Um, they have like Transformers here, Dune, a McFarlane Batman. And that's about it. They even have a Super Mario and um, Sonic section. You can see they have like little racers here, little race cars, this cool little set, like Jack specific. This is pretty cool, an RC Sonic car. Bunch of little figures here too. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I mean, it's a new section, but there's nothing really new. I'll tell you something I did spot, this right here. 
the Lego set Nintendo Entertainment System. Oh my God, this is so freaking crazy. Priced at 229. I think this is, yeah, this is the only one that they have here in stock. Look at this, insert game pack. Dude, this is freaking insane. Look at that, oh my God. I would never build it though. So it makes me wonder, are they gonna get rid of that other NECA section that's by the electronics? But I mean, it says NECA here, right? But they have DC McFarland pegs. So I'm kind of confused on how they're gonna display this. Not 100% sure. I mean, they got Dune McFarland figures that are, you know, right there on the DPCIs. Oh God, the Stay Puff Marshmallow Slime. Um, not too sure, but really cool to see this section. And it's like kind of where the Legos are, at least at this target. All right, so heading out of that Target, and like I said, this one here has the new NECA section. I heard people talking about them. They're like moving the NECA stuff, and um, it's cool to see it with my own eyes, but there was no NECA figures there. And then, I mean, they're probably gonna redo it like within the next couple months, but it was really awesome seeing that Nintendo set. See, that right there is another definition of a freaking FOMO buy. All right, so we're at another Target. I'm gonna come here and then go to the gym. Uh, right after and then we're gonna take a break and then we're gonna do more hunting all right so we're gonna come to uh, target really quick and then from here i'm going to the gym and then going to go home get ready run some errands and then continue toy hunting so like i said guys if you have to pause the video pause the video grab a, grab a drink grab a snack and then sit back and enjoy the hunt I, we gotta find something today right i don't know if this one has the new neca section yet i don't think so no, this one doesn't. All right, let's see. Cause okay, so it looks like they just put these out. Cause I was here a couple days ago. Um, I didn't record though. Let's see here. Yeah, see this one doesn't have the dark side, but yet it said online or on the uh, scanner that I scanned at the other target that they did have the dark side, but it's probably in the back. All right, here's a quick look at the wrestling figures. And then the Masters. All right, so we still got Evil Lin here, Moss Man. Seems like he, I mean, obviously He-Man and Skeletor are the tougher ones to get, but I think He-Man from what I've seen is the tougher one to get. Oh God, don't buy this guys. Do not buy this, but watch the review on it. Here we go, there's John Hammonds. All John Hammonds, wow. And they still have the end cap over here. Full of Jurassic World stuff and Jurassic Park. All right, let's go to the NECA section. I can see Shao Kahn right there. Oh, geez. They don't have the other turtle set. Aliens, Jason. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a good stock that they have here, but it's nothing that I'm looking for. What kind of handheld games they have here? Contra, a lot of little mini. Little tiny arcades. Oh, geez, speaking of what if, did anybody catch the first episode yesterday on Disney Plus, which was based around this one? I actually really enjoyed it. Um, let me put this back in there. Yeah, did you guys watch it? Let me know. Is this a new set? Dude, this is freaking sick. I actually think this might be old. I don't know. But it does come with Spider Man, Spider Ham, Iron Spider, and Venom. This is pretty cool. See, it says nothing here, but it does show because he scanned it for me and he says we do have one. But again, I don't know if it's reading the regular dark side, but either way, it's not it's not here. All right. There was nothing here. So I'm going to go to the gym and then we'll see where we go to after that. All right, guys, I last stop. It's comic book Wednesday, new comic book Wednesday. And uh, I'm at Fat Collectibles right here. Check it out. It's been a while since I've been in here. looks like someone's selling their uh, collection. You can see a U-Haul here. There's a lady there with a bunch of totes. Not sure exactly what uh, she's selling, but let's head in a fat collector. So AJ, one of the workers here, I'm glad he, he told me this. The new um, Batman comic is out, the 89 Batman comic. I don't know what cover I want. I mean, this is cool because it looks different. This is really cool. But I think I'm gonna go with uh, this one here. It's more classic. Oh, I love it. I don't know what else came out. I haven't really been keeping up to date with a lot of the comic stuff. I like that cover. I've always loved um, Havoc 
from X Factor. I don't know if I have the Spawn comic. Issue number 320. I don't think I have that one. But I'm trying to see what else came out this week. I got the Suicide Squad. Looks like this is based off of the the film, maybe? I don't know. Ultraman. The Batman. Oh, I finally get to see this guy out of package. Look at him. Dude, he looks so cool. Love the base. Got Goldar on there. Beautiful piece. Just wish he would have came with his wings. Oh, they got some McFarlane. Oh, look at that. They got the Arkham Knight figure. I have that one somewhere in storage. Really great figure. Oh, they also have some animated figures here. These are getting... I think some of these are getting re-released. Old school Kenner Batmans. Some old Spawn. I have that one. Then some new McFarlane stuff. They got Gorilla Grodd. Target Batman. These are the original head changers right here. I don't know what the prices are at. They don't have oh, $20. No, this one's $30. That one's $20. And then they have the original aliens. I think I have most of these. Dude, I remember when I was collecting these how sought after this figure was. Do you guys remember that? It's a great figure. I actually I really like this figure. And I th think I still have him in storage. Look at this old school rhino. Scarlet Witch. Wasp. Old school Toy Biz. Some of the movie figures from X-Men. Dude, I used to love these figures as a kid. Sinister. Cable. I had all the cables. That cannibal. I like how they have their Black Series displayed here. On the side of it with all the numbers. Now... I said this before, I don't like some of their prices on these. I mean, $10, $12. Honestly, I think a lot of these should be between five to 10. Um, some of them that are priced at 10 shouldn't be priced at 10. Okay, so like $7 for, for Princess Leia's. Oh my God, look at that head sculpt. I wanna rebuild my collection. This is what got me into actually collecting this line, um, but. You, you could find a lot of these cheaper. I mean, $11, maybe $8 I would do. You know, I would, if I were to buy like a lot of them, I would ask them to give me a deal. Like this one here, $10 isn't bad for that one. That's actually a pretty good price. I think this is a decent price too. Um, they have the Luke Skywalker one, that one's 15. And then they have these awesome uh, play sets here, $20. See like these I think would be good, like maybe 10 or 15. 30 see I don't know about that one I've always wanted this one as a kid the uh, T-16 Skyhopper and um, Dash Rendar's Outlander I think it's called speaking of if I were to find Dash Rendar I would pick him up Dash Rendar was always like a favorite character I want to rebuild the original Bounty Hunters too $12 I don't know if they have Boba Fett here I mean there's so many to look for or to look through here dude look at this i think i don't know who makes this i think this is iron studios but i could be wrong the detailing on that is insane look at that black manta cthulhu by diamond whoa look at this the sarlacc pit i don't know who who makes this i have no idea who makes this i've never seen this before obviously the special edition and then they have the um oh, i forgot what this is called the skiff the barge that diamond harley bust right back there that's another one that i've always wanted the um at at or at at oh look at that they have a what is this pixels 3d r2d2 oh geez look at all these old school vehicles right here i don't know if these were here the last time i came but, whoa, that X-Wing looks cool. 175. I think, like, I think these are G.I. Joe's. Yeah, these are G.I. Joe's. Look at this. 350 for this diorama. Is this custom? Yeah, I think this is custom. The Rancor. Look at that. Jeez, look at this. these ships, though. I don't, I don't know who makes these. There's a Skyhopper right there. Oh, there's a, there's a Dash Rendar ship. Is he in there? Yeah, Dash Rendar is in there. 
$40. I could probably get one sealed for a better price, but that's very tempting. This is really cute. Look at this. This is a custom display. I just asked one of the workers here. That is crazy. These little guys on here. Oh, Jesus. Snow speeder, the AT-80. -AT. Insane detailing on this. See, I wish I knew how to do custom stuff like this. So this is a custom. Same with that one over there. Wow. Look at that. Oh, look at there's Dash. Oh, look at Dash Render right there. Six bucks. Jeez. Uh, again, you might be able to find them on card for that price. Oh, it's so tempting though. It's so freaking tempting. They have so many figures here, guys. Jeez, look at all this. <sighs> Man, a lot of you guys probably don't know, I'm a really big Star Wars fan, the original trilogy. And I'm a really big Power of the Force fan. Why is this one 125? Why is that 125? I have no idea. That one's 90? I don't understand, are these graded or something? Or I don't know. You guys can let me know in the comments below. I'm not up to date with a lot of the Power of the Force stuff. What is this? I don't know if I've ever seen this. Oh, this is from the new film. I was gonna say that's why I've never seen it. It's got the new sort of wampa. Oh, whoa, whoa! Look at this in here. <laughs> that's crazy. This is pretty cool. This is the Escape the Death Star action. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Oh, it's a board game. Okay. This is nice too. Twenty dollars for the setup. I'd actually, I'd actually get this. Oh, they got different ones. So they have this one here, they have this one, and then they have one in the back with Luke, Yoda, L Lando. I'd get this one though. I'd get a different character in the center. I'd put like maybe like a Yoda or Obi-Wan or something. Oh god, here it is. Shadows of the Empire. There he is. Oh man, 10 bucks. See? It's so tempting. $10. See, five bucks, that's what they should go for. Oh man, I used to, I used to love this figure. What else they got? They got another one back there. Oh man. Do you guys think I can find this somewhat cheaper? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm not gonna get it today, but I used to love this figure. Have you guys played the game? It was for Nintendo, I believe Nintendo 64. This is another one I used to love. Man, it's so tempting. bunch of vintage stuff here well the vintage collection here's some of the vehicles from power of the force and then the uh prequel stuff here this is like when i really this is i think the time i stopped collecting was during this this time when these came out but i did collect some of them um i don't own a lot of these well here's chewbacca from shadows Sometimes it's always good because you might find that the same figure like mispriced. So I've never seen what the. See, I've never seen this. This is on a different card. This look at the. It's in different writing, different language. Dash Rendar. I've never seen this before. This is pretty cool. I like the other card better, but I've never seen this before. This is pretty cool. Again, tempting, but not gonna. If they had the out, uh, who was it? Outrider? Is that what the name of the ship? in a box i might think about it uh, old school gi joe mortal Kombat figures oh that's so freaking cool i don't know if i ever owned these as a kid though they're so awesome to see all right so i was thinking about it and this thing is actually missing several pieces um i'm gonna ask double check right now with the co-worker to see if there's stickers or anything otherwise i might get it but if it's just like this i'm gonna pass on it that outlander ship definitely is missing some pieces so I am gonna pass on that one for now. I have this on pre-order. This is by Diamond Select. That is freaking sick. I always love looking at the statues. I still think that Colossus is freaking awesome. Dude, look at this sign. This is a really, really nice sign. And this is new too. I think this is the DC Collectibles on a sideshow. Actually is for sale. That's really nice. I thought DC Collectibles made this. But a sideshow, huh? That is really cool. 
and they have like this huge freaking hulk one in the front can you guys see it can you spot it i'll show you guys on the way out it's a huge hulk avengers statue we're back at fat collectibles okay because the last clip i was at fat collectibles so they called me back because they have a dash rent they, they bought a collection and i told them before i left if they have a dash rendar ship in there sealed to call me and they do so we're gonna take a look at it yeah oh yeah 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 this is cool right here i remember seeing it's 10 bucks can't go wrong with that dang it's, this is i always wanted this as a kid what's this R2 control unit, I don't know what that is. Brad wants that, I know that. Oh, the Tauntaun, I think the Han Solo one was actually, I think this is the harder one to find, I believe. Not 100% sure. Oh, they got the old school Wampa. This is from the special edition. Cruise missile chicken. Cool, look at that. It's pretty awesome. Oh, this is cool right here. We got the slime coming out of his mouth. Which one? This one? I don't know what this is. Power of the Four. Uh, I've never seen this. What the? This, this is how small this vehicle is in that packaging. <laughs> oh, I never remember this guy in Star Wars. Oh, they have an Ewok uh, candy holder. Oh, no, this is both that one. There's an Ewok right there. Oh. I remember seeing these. I always... These are... I never got into these, but I remember seeing them. We got the Skyhopper right here. Oh. See, look, you guys know I'm a Shadow of the Empire fan. Look at that. I remember these in stores. This is cool. So they have that one. And then they have this one. Oh, this is a good one. IG-88. It's, it's got a comic in there. From Dark Horse, which was not canon anymore, right? The Dark Nothing Horse comic. Nothing is. Look. So they have a Bantha. I don't think I've ever seen that one. And they got a Millennium. Dude, the Millennium Falcon. See, that's another one I've always wanted as a kid. TIE Fighter. Or X-Wing. I think that's a electronic. What is over there? The Rancor. I have that Rancor. What, look at that huge Slimer. Which one? That's what I was looking at right now. Oh, this is from episode one, so I never really got into that. That's a huge ship, though. And it has another ship with it, too. The smaller one up top. What's this? Oh, I used to have that. Crazy. Tatooine snow. Oh, that's pretty cool, Brad. If you buy something like this, you gotta keep it in the box to look so cool. And the pose is at their end. He said there's like more stuff that's in like storage. So this isn't even everything. What's this? Statue of animated. Yeah, this I want to record because I've never seen. These are, these are actually look cool. I wouldn't buy them, but they look cool. But this is something I do want. Oh, this is right here. And I was looking right over there. This is something I want to see that I've never seen before. Have you, it looks like Robocop's helmet. I never knew this existed. That's pretty cool. The armor. Dude, this would be another cool display piece just to have in the box and never take it out. Cool. Look, it's a plunger. You can use it for your toilet. Check this out, dude. This is a Power of the Force AT-ST, right? Yeah, AT-ST. Oh, this is cool. I don't think I ever owned this one as a kid either. So I don't think these have ever been opened. That looks like the original tape. A lot of this stuff is sealed. I'm going to see if he'll give me prices on everything. Not that I'm going to buy it, but I just want to know the prices. When I was here earlier, I didn't see a lot of this stuff. I had some of these. I love this series of Micro Machines. Gold Boba Fett. They even have a tech deck. Freaking Boba Fett skateboard. I don't know how I missed this. I didn't look through this. Hey, Brad, check this evolutions here out of um, the Fets. They have Mandalore, Jango Fett, and Boba Fett. Oh, this is cool. This is like a whole Boba Fett section. I like this, dude. It's 60 bucks. This is nice. It's not that anymore. <laughs> What's it called again? The Starship? Oh, Brad, check, check this out. See, you gotta leave this in the package so it displays that scene. Same with this one. That's pretty cool. Oh, this is really cool. Transformer one. 50 bucks. 
Right, so I had asked earlier why these are priced the way they are. Like those up there, the power of the forest, because they're graded, so it is graded. I didn't know that, I found that up front. Yeah, I forgot to show this off the first time. Boom, dude. Did you see General Grievous? Okay, so the back of this diorama, this is pretty cool. She's got some information and then I'm, I'm assuming this is the guy who makes it. I'm gonna look up his uh, info, but that's pretty cool. See, I owned this as a kid and I would like, see, I'd, I'd rebuy this. They got two versions though. They got the uh, Shadows of Empire one and then the Power of the Force. Um, um, maybe the, probably, I would say this one because it's, it's the first in the Power of the Force in the yeah. 90s. But I think this one's probably painted a little bit better. Look at that. 1200 signed by Robert England and Heather. I always get her last name wrong. Lincoln Kemp. That's pretty cool. And I believe this is Hot Toys. All right, guys. So I'm back home and I'm going to show you everything that I picked up. First off, we'll go with comics. So I ended up picking up the brand new 89 series, 89. Batman, I don't know why I said 89 series, comic book issue one of six. I got this cover right here with uh, Michael Keaton, Batman, Tim Burton. This is based off the Tim Burton Batman. So uh, I think, believe it's a tie-in from after the film. Uh, the, the variant cover had uh, Harvey Dent as Two-Face. I wanted to get that one, but I just thought this one looked more like the original, you know, 89 Batman. So I got this one. And then I honestly don't know if I had this cover I really don't know, but I got it anyways. Spawn issue number 39, the Christmas cover. Um, how to get it. Uh, again, I'm not 100% sure if I have this cover. And if I do, then I have two of them. And as far as action figures go, I did end up getting Dash Rendar. So I got a pool list, right, for Fat Collectibles. And I didn't know that if you get a full uh, pool list, you get discounts on figures and comic books. So I had to do it because on comic books, I believe it's 20% and figures you get 15% off if you have a pull list. So I had to jump on that. Um, so I got Shadows of the Empire. I owned this figure as a kid. I actually owned the majority of what you see back here minus the Millennium Falcon. I owned everything else back here. I used to own all of this stuff as a kid and um, Dash Rendar was, you know, the man. He was... A figure I absolutely, I used to love playing with this guy. And I always wanted the Dash Rendar's Outrider. I never owned it as a kid. And I always wanted it. Now, I have it sealed. Sealed, never opened before. And it's going to have the, the Kenner booklet in there. So I'm excited for that. Um, but this bad boy is completely sealed, never opened. You guys saw the uh the packaging or the the collection that the guy brought some of it that's not even that's not even all of it but this is definitely something that i wanted since i was a kid and i'm just so happy to have this in the collection i'm going to open it um i think the dash rendar i'm going to keep on card i've always liked the cards on these but that brings me to a new series that is going to be coming out very soon because I want to rebuild my Power of the Force collection and Shadows of the Empire. Well, I mean, I, I consider this still in, in Power of the Force. So there's a new series coming, guys. And here it is. <laughs> 